The 2023 March Madness bracket has finally been revealed, and so today I'll be giving you guys my first thoughts on the bracket, as well as what you can expect in this year's tournament. And this is a tournament that is wide open as we look forward to it. There is no heavy favorite as we look forward to this tournament. So today I'll be giving you guys my first thoughts, as well as a potential prediction on who could win this tournament. So that's it. Let's get started looking at the top here. We got Alabama, number one overall seed. Yeah, they're going to win in the first round, and I've got full confidence in that. I mean, you look at the 16 seeds facing off in the first four. Uh, you got AM, Corpus Christi, and then uh, Southeast Missouri. I just don't see either of those teams standing a chance against Alabama, who is far and away. I would say, I mean, there are, there are some complete teams in this tournament, but I like Alabama and the way that this team is. They have been the most consistently uh, dominant team this entire season. Then you got Maryland and West Virginia. This is a matchup that could uh, definitely go either way, but I'm going West Virginia here. I think the Mountaineers uh, get the win. The Big Ten has struggled in years past in March Madness, and I think that uh, Maryland is, is very much able to win this game, but I'm going to be going Mountaineers. San Diego State and Charleston. This is a matchup that is, I think, going to be a popular pick for a potential upset, 12 over 5, but I'm going with San Diego State. I think the experience on San Diego State, uh, they get the win over Charleston, even though it's a very close matchup. And then Virginia and Furman, now this is the matchup that I think you should be keeping an eye on for a potential upset. I'm going Furman to win this matchup, and not everything in March Madness makes sense. I think Furman beats Virginia. This is a game where, I mean, based on the numbers, Virginia should definitely win it, but uh, Furman in their first March Madness in 43 years, I think they're ready to go, and they get the win. Then you got Creighton and NC State. NC State, one of the last teams into the tournament. I'm going to be going with Creighton to win this game. NC State is uh, very much dangerous. I think they keep this game close, but I think the Blue Jays, this is a team that's playing pretty well right now, and I've got them moving on. Baylor and UCSB, I'm going Baylor here. I see them as uh, very much a threat in this region. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with them to beat UCSB. And then Missouri and Utah State. Missouri's had an outstanding season, but this is a tough draw for them. Utah State a team that I think is very dangerous. I mean, this is a team that offensively is very efficient. I mean, they've got uh, all the round. I mean, this is this is a really solid team at the 10 seed, and Missouri on the other side is. I mean, this is a this is a team with with tremendous experience. But I think Utah State is dangerous, and I like them uh, to get the win over Missouri, and then Arizona and Princeton. Ivy League teams usually don't do too hot in March Madness. I think Arizona gets the win here pretty easily. Moving on, we got Purdue and the 16th seed, either Texas Southern or FDU. I'm going Purdue no matter what. Memphis and Florida Atlantic. I'm taking FAU to win this game. I think uh, in the end, FAU uh, gets the win and they proceed on uh, in this 8-9 matchup. I do like the nine seeds quite a bit uh, in this tournament from what we're seeing. And then Duke and Oral Roberts. This is a matchup that I'm actually very much looking forward to. You got Oral Roberts who's had an outstanding season. They made a run in March Madness a couple of years ago. And Duke on the other side, this team is hot right now, arguably the hottest team in this tournament. And so that said, I'm going to be going with Duke to win this game, but I think Oral Roberts keeps it close. And honestly, if if Oral Roberts as a 12 seed was playing any other five seed in the field, yeah, they get the win. And I'm pretty confident in saying that. Then you got Tennessee and Louisiana. Tennessee dealing with a couple of major injuries. Louisiana on the other side. That is dangerous, and they bring experience, and I like Louisiana to dig down Tennessee because uh, of Tennessee and the fact that this team is dealing with injuries. And so, I mean, that's that's the big – I mean, their defense is outstanding. That's, um, that's definitely a reason why you could pick Tennessee here is their defense. But, of course, Ziegler is out with an injury, and that's going to have a huge effect on this team. Kentucky and Providence, I'm going Kentucky here to get the win. Although Providence, I think, definitely poses as a threat. K-State and Montana State, give me K-State there as well uh, to move on. Then Michigan State and USC. This one's going to be a fun one. I'm going Michigan State over USC, uh, even though I do think uh, USC definitely puts up a fight. And whoever wins that matchup could definitely go a long way because I think Marquette, yeah, they're a two seed and, yeah, they're outstanding. I think they beat Vermont. Uh, but I will say this. I think Marquette is a somewhat vulnerable team. If you're going up against uh, Michigan State or USC or or a team like that in the second round, I do think Michigan State or USC definitely has a chance against Marquette. 
Um, and so that's, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. And I'll also say this, while we're at it, if there's any 15 seed that's gonna beat a two seed, it's gonna be right here. Vermont is hot right now. They're playing outstanding. I think they put up a fight in this matchup and keep it close, uh, but I'm gonna still go Marquette just because it's so tough to predict a 15 over two. Uh, that's just something that's really tough to do. Next up, we got Houston and Northern Kentucky. Give me Houston, Iowa, and Auburn. I'm going to be taking Auburn to win this game. They maybe, I mean, they haven't played Super Bowl down the stretch, but I think Auburn and Iowa, this is going to be, I could see it being an, a really solid matchup. But, I mean, uh, Iowa, I don't know, man. I I think I think Auburn is is uh, going, to, going to win this game. It's, it's pretty much a coin toss. You can easily go either way here. Then Miami and Drake, I'm going to be taking Drake to win this game. I think a 12 over 5 here makes sense. Uh, Miami is a really solid team in the ACC, uh, and the ACC really didn't get many teams in this tournament, but I think Drake, the way they're playing right now, I'm going to go with them to win, and then Indiana over Kent State as well, even though I think Kent State, the way they're playing, I could see them upsetting Indiana, and honestly, the Midwest region, this is, this is the region that I see being a total mess, and we'll get into more about why in a sec, but then you got Iowa State and Mississippi State or Pitt, I could see an 11 seed uh, win here, but I'm going to be going with Iowa State uh, as of right now. And if you're going to ask me who, who to take between Mississippi State and Pitt, I'd probably take Pitt right now. I think uh, the underdog story that they've got going, I think they, I think they win that match I and mean, get into to, into the uh, the second round or the, the first round outside of the first four. And uh, I think Iowa State wins it, though, in the end. And then Xavier and Kennesaw State. This is a matchup that I think you should be keeping an eye on. Not many... I think are going to be liking Kennesaw State in this matchup. This is probably not going to be a super popular upset, but I see this one coming. I think Kennesaw State is a very dangerous team. Keep an eye on them. This is a team that's making their first tournament appearance. They're playing outstanding right now. They've won 16 of their last 18. And Kennesaw State, keep an eye on them. I think that's a team that uh, could potentially put up a surprise upset. And uh, not many are going to see it coming, but I think I do. And I think Kennesaw State proceeds on. Then you got Texas A&M and Penn State. This could be an out, this should be an outstanding matchup. Uh, your two runner-ups in the tournaments of the SEC and the Big Ten. I'm going Penn State, 10 over 7 here, and then they're going to play Texas. Although Colgate, I think, puts up a fight against Texas and keeps it close. Kansas and Howard, give me Kansas, Arkansas, and Illinois. I'm going to be going Illinois here over Arkansas, so another 9 over 8. In fact, I mean, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I think I've actually got all nine seeds winning this uh, winning this, uh, winning in winning in the tournament. Although if there's an eight seed that I'd probably pick over a nine, it's going to be Arkansas. I could very well see Arkansas, so you could go either way here. Um, but I'm going to go with Illinois based on a coin toss, pretty much. I mean, it's that's as close as it gets. Two uh, good basketball teams, but Illinois comes out on top. St. Mary's and VCU. This is going to be a popular upset pick, I think, with uh, VCU playing really well right now. I'm going to go with them as well. And then UConn on Iona, really like UConn. Give me them in this matchup, even though Iona, uh, do keep an eye on them. That's a team that uh, could potentially put up a, a massive upset here. I mean, there's there's a few games that aren't going to be popular upsets. I think this that could be one of them, but I think UConn gets the win. DCU and either Arizona State or Nevada. Uh, I think Arizona State wins that matchup. And in the end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take TCU over you know, whichever team wins in the first four. I just think TCU... Uh, they could be a dangerous team. They got Gonzaga, and then on the other side, uh, I got them over Grand Canyon. I think Gonzaga is very much a team that is very dangerous in this tournament. Drew, yeah, you got you got Timmy, who is nothing short of outstanding. Um, he's, he brings tremendous experience to this team, and I mean Gonzaga as a whole is a team that is outstanding, both offense and defense. Yeah, keep an eye on them. They're going to be one of the favorites to win the title. Then you got Northwestern and Boise State. Northwestern, super intriguing team, uh, considering this team was just horrible last season. But Northwestern, give me them. I got them over Boise State in a close one and definitely a fun matchup. And then UCLA and UNC Asheville give me UCLA. So looking at the second round here, going through these pretty quick, uh, going back up to the top here, we got Alabama, West Virginia. I'm taking Crimson Tide over West Virginia. I just think, once again, Alabama, very much a dangerous team, and I see them going a long ways. I'd be surprised if they didn't. San Diego State and Furman. I've got, I've got one of the potential Cinderella teams here, and Furman, I've got them onto the Sweet 16. Then you got Creighton and Baylor. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a battle. It's going to go back and forth, but I'm going Baylor uh, to beat Crane and proceed on. 
Utah State and Arizona, I mean, you got two teams here that are, are definitely dangerous, really solid teams. Utah State, a 10 seed in the Sweet 16 would make sense here. But I'm going to go Arizona over Utah State. But this is a game, if it were to happen, 2 versus 10 here, easily 50-50. Could get, definitely go either way despite Arizona being the 2 seed in that matchup. Purdue and Florida Atlantic give me Purdue. They're going to proceed on to the Sweet 16, and they're going to face Duke. Uh, Duke, once again, a team that I did pick to win the ACC tournament. And, uh, yeah, I think the Blue Devils are – are very much a dangerous team considering how hot they are right now. They're playing their best ball this season at this current point, and that's a crucial thing to uh, to consider when picking games here. And then you got Kentucky and Kansas State. Give me the Wildcats over the Wildcats. <laughs> yeah, Kentucky, I like them over K-State in this matchup. I also like Michigan State over Marquette. I do think Marquette maybe disappoints a bit. Maybe they're um, maybe they're an early out. And Marquette, they're, they're a solid team, but this is a team that um, – I mean, this is a team that really likes to slow things down. Defensively, uh, they're a solid team. And on offense, um, offense, they're a bit inconsistent. I think Michigan State, I like I like Michigan State to make a run in this tournament. And I think, I think Izzo and this team, extremely well coached. Give me them against Marquette. And then you got Houston and Auburn. I am taking Auburn to knock off Houston. So I'm picking a few. I'm pretty aggressive with this bracket. But this is, I mean, these are all just games that I think you should be keeping an eye on. And, uh, and in particular, I think Auburn uh, does does pose a threat against Houston. People might not see this one coming, uh, but I think I think the Tigers get the win here. And then he got uh, Drake and Indiana. Now Drake's a team that I think is going to be a popular pick to beat Miami, but I've got Indiana winning this matchup. We could see Drake in the Sweet 16 as well, uh, but give me the Hoosiers in that one. Iowa State, Kennesaw State, Kennesaw State, very much a team that I could see being a Cinderella here. And you know what? Give me them against Iowa State. Kennesaw State proceeds on to the Sweet 16 in their first ever tournament appearance. And then Penn State and Texas. This is a matchup. I mean, you got Texas who just won the Big 12 over, over Kansas in the tournament. They are hot as hot as anyone right now heading into this tournament. And Texas, I'm going to take them over Penn State, but in a very close matchup. Penn State is very hot as well. They just made a, a awesome run in the Big Ten tournament, getting all the way to the final. And they got Kansas and Illinois. Give me the Jayhawks in this one. I do think you know, Kansas at least makes it to the Sweet 16. And then give me UConn over VCU. Once again, really like the Huskies. And uh, this is a team that was, I mean, they were hot there at, at in the middle of the season. And it was the, actually it was the beginning of the season. I mean, this team was 14-0 at one point. This team was at the top of the rankings, and they fell off a little bit, and they're hot once again. Keep an eye on UConn. I've got them in the Sweet 16. TCU Gonzaga, once again, really like Gonzaga. Give me them over TCU. And then UCLA over Northwestern, although I do think Northwestern uh, being a team that is uh, has unexpectedly really been great this season. Uh, we could see them as a, a surprise team in this tournament as well, but I think UCLA is as complete of a team as anybody. Give me them in that matchup. Now looking at the Sweet 16 here, we got Alabama and Furman at the top here. Give me the Crimson Tide. I think they end Furman's run. Baylor, Arizona. I'll be taking Baylor in this matchup for them to proceed on to the Elite Eight. Uh, once again, really like Baylor. This is a team that uh, disappointed a bit in the Big 12 tournament, but I think they play pretty well in the Mar in March Madness, and they proceed on to the Elite Eight. Then you got Purdue and Duke. This is a matchup that could definitely go either way. The Big Ten has disappointed quite a bit in the tournament in years past, and I think Purdue does disappoint a bit here, and Duke gets the win. This is a hot team in Duke. I like the five or over the one here, and they proceed on. Kentucky and Michigan State, this would be an outstanding one here. You got Tashib Way uh, in Kentucky, an outstanding team, and Michigan State, who offensively is, is nothing short of, of just outstanding. And when Michigan State gets hot, this team is, is brutal. And that's that I think Michigan State is going to make a run in this tournament. And just by their offense, I really like this team, and Michigan State proceed on to the Elite Eight. They're going to be taking on Duke. Now, looking at your Elite Eight here, we got Alabama and Baylor. I'm going Crimson Tide to proceed on here. I think they're the one, they're the main one seed that I'm pretty confident in to make a run here just because of how complete of a team this is. So give me Alabama in the Final Four. They'll be facing off against Duke. Duke, once again, an extremely hot team heading into this tournament. I like them to proceed on. Looking at the Sweet 16 down here in the Midwest, we got Auburn and Indiana. I think Indiana surprises some people. They proceed on 
and they beat Auburn. Kennesaw State and Texas. Kennesaw State, I could definitely see being one of the big Cinderella teams. Uh, I've got Texas uh, shutting them down here and uh, getting Texas to the Elite Eight. Uh, but I think, yeah, Kennesaw State is one of the teams that some might not expect to make a deep run, but I like this team a lot. Then you got Kansas and UConn. I do think this is where Kansas uh, run ends. The defending champions go down. UConn proceeds on. And then Gonzaga and UCLA. Give me Gonzaga. Once again, Drew Timmy, the experience of this team, uh, both sides of the ball. I mean, this is, I mean, Gonzaga in, in all areas is an outstanding team. I like them uh, to proceed on. Then looking at Indiana versus Texas, I think Indiana actually knocks off Texas here. I mean, some might be confused by this pick, but Texas, I mean, yeah, they won the they won the Big 12 title, but how many games can this team win in a row? I mean, can Texas run the table and uh, get to the Final Four? I mean, this team is very much able to do that, but I think Indiana cuts their run short, and they upset Texas there. Then UConn and Gonzaga, this one should be an outstanding one, but give me Gonzaga over UConn. I think Gonzaga is a very dangerous team once again. So then looking at the final four, this is what it comes down to. We got Alabama and Duke, and then Indiana, who some might surprise seeing them in this position, and then Gonzaga. Give me Indiana over Duke. I think Duke is a team that is playing their best ball right now, ACC tournament champs. They're hot as ever, but Alabama, too complete of a team. I see them definitely making a deep run, and honestly, yeah, that'd be pretty surprising if they went any earlier than the Elite Eight. And then Indiana, Gonzaga, take me, uh, I'm going to be taking Gonzaga here, no problem. I think the Gonzaga Bulldogs are, are are far and away one of the most dangerous teams in this tournament. You look at, once again, just every every area, Gonzaga is an outstanding team. And I think also, I'll say this about Gonzaga, this is a team that usually is, is a top seed. And this is, I mean, we've seen that in the past few years, and they've disappointed just a bit in the fact that they haven't won a national title. Uh, with Drew Timmy and the amount of outstanding talent this team has. And so that said, for your national championship, Alabama and Gonzaga, I think Gonzaga working from a three seed, uh, they're, they've got a bit of an underdog uh, mentality here. And that said, I'm going Gonzaga to beat Alabama. They're your national champions. Once again, this is just a first look. I haven't totally done a ton of research on these matchups. This is being recorded on Sunday. So I'll be giving you guys my official bracket in a day or two. Uh, once I'm able to look over the teams even more and uh, the matchups as well. But as of right now, give me Gonzaga to win the national championship, even though Alabama is, is very much able to win that matchup. And that would be an incredible game there if it were to happen for the national title game between Alabama and Gonzaga. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this bracket. Obviously, everyone's going to have a different bracket. This is uh, this is a tournament where you got 68 teams, and uh, that's, that's just the fun of it is – how chaotic it's going to be. But I appreciate you guys all watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.